Kings of comedy. They gonna move to the moon. Ain't gonna happen. Y'all move to the moon, damn it, we coming to the moon. Oh, we'll be right behind y'all in space shuttles with Cadillac grills. Just, just, just rolling one headlight out. Tags be all wrong. All base. Y'all know we'll drive a space shuttle too. That's right up our damn alley. A space shuttle is long. They ain't scared of no black folk. We'll drive a space shuttle. We grew up driving long for cars. We'll drive a space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce and a quarter. We, 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 we get us a cigarette. We get us, we be in a space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce. We get us. Yes. It's part of what they give you. If you sign up for their program, you get a light skin, weird wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her. And that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And what up, though? I just want to drop this video real quick. I ain't do no editing and I use no mic, so please forgive me, but... Man, Cat Williams is one entertaining dude. I watched that interview two times. That interview outdid Charleston White doing Cam Newton like that. Cam Newton wasn't prepared. And Cam Newton, well, let me let, let me stop. I'm not going to say that. But Cam Newton kind of, I wouldn't say corny. I would say more um, Nick Cannon-ish. We don't want to use that word. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to get uh, demonetized and like that. He's more... Uh, um, like my brother Nick Cannon and Will Smith or whatever. He'd get jiggy with a type of dude. So he wasn't properly prepared for that Charleston White interview at all. You know, he didn't even know Malcolm X was watched by the feds. He thought uh, Charleston White was speculating. It was it was documented. But nevertheless, though, the, the wife thing, the stolen joke, Kevin Hart having those deals. If you look at the dates of some of those deals on his IBM, it's literally before he blew up. Like, he already had these deals in place. I, you know, he might just start hustling. We don't know the story, but either way, he blew up. He did what he did with what he did and made for good entertainment, man. But this is crazy. I like this, and I'm always rooting for the underdog. I'm always rooting for the black sheep. So, Cat Williams ain't got nothing but love, respect, and, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, courtesy for you. And I'm going to tell you another thing Cat Williams didn't lie about. He said, I only bring comedians on the road that are funnier than me. And it's hard to be funnier than him, but I'm not going to cap to you. I went to the World War III show. Uh, Mr. Cooper, uh, well, I forget his name, Mark Curry, had a way better, way better, way better stage presence, way better jokes. All Mark Curry jokes hit. I'm talking about if he told 20 jokes, 20 of them hit. You know what I'm saying? And then the ones that wasn't super funny, everybody like, yup, yup. <laughs> yeah, that's right, baby. That's right. Mark Curry is a GOAT. Shout out to Mark Curry, man. He is super funny, and I'm up on him. I'm hip. And there was another woman there. She was kind of on a level. And I usually don't like women comedians, to be honest with you. But she was up there like past Monique type of thing. So he ain't lying. He take way funnier comedians on the road with him. Like I said, I found no lies in this game. 
Hey, but did y'all hear that Ricky Smiley, all that? Man, nobody want to hear all that stuff, man. That, 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 that uh, Cottonell stuff, man. Let me make my kid real, and I'm going through it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nobody want to hear that, man. I'm going to fire back or just say your piece. All that extra stuff, you trying to take the bigger route, is just quite obvious. It's cool to take the bigger route. I'm not saying don't take the bigger route, y'all. Always do that. But his just seems so disingenuous, man. And Ricky Smiley is just not, he ain't funny to me, man. I ain't, I ain't going to cap to you. Face on love funny to an extent, but. He more funny in person type of guy. Phase on love. I can't believe he has zero neck Netflix thingies. And uh Cedric Entertainer, we can't find his stuff online either, uh on Tubi or Netflix's uh specials. Man, peace and blessed be upon y'all. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Go! Everything I put out so raw, you just can't slip. I got the best O line, even on goal line, you can't bliss. You're not a hustler, you keep getting in front of you just can't flip it. You ain't really got a UP Diddy, you be remixing. Oh, where we just got a new Glock, <laughs> that's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac know what's up, we know on the mill tick.